What's going on guys? Guess what we're doing today? We are cooking some cases up. Check it out. We're about to toast these up. I'll let those heat up till they reach 225. Bangs are in the freezer. You guys have seen this before. I did it before, all right? We're gonna heat these up quick, drop the bearings in. I'm not gonna do a full engine build video. I'm just gonna uh, show you guys bits and pieces of it. So let's go. Guys, we're gonna start with the main. I use the use the most difficult. So I've already done a real time video, like I said, so this is just gonna be little bits and pieces here and there. I figure this is a pretty important part of a build. So one thing to remember in this bearing, see the little uh, uh, race on this. You got completely flat, and there's this little race. You want that to face up. What that does is that locks in your retainer like that okay so let's see guys let's see uh let's see how it goes ready oh my god that never gets old this sealed one is for the counter shaft that's gonna go right there that one in nice and easy oh so this one is for this guy right here that one went right in Alright guys, so we got the cases together. I'll let you guys check it out. So I'm actually going to, uh, normally I would flip these up. I do have this sweet engine stand. I put that on this, but uh, that's not ready to go in the new build yet. So we're going to let this dry overnight. It's probably close to being workable, but I'm just going to stop for tonight. And then tomorrow I will work on both side cases. And um, like I said, I'm not going to do an, a complete video on that. I will show you bits and pieces of it maybe as it's completed before I throw the side covers on um, I'll show you guys that so we'll be back tomorrow hey guys we are back in the garage we are going to finish up this engine now we are waiting for one side cover from sport bike powder coating a new powder coated cover we do have the old one but we're gonna put a fresh one like this flywheel one. I already had this one. We are waiting for some new clutch plates, but I can put these in for now, probably just temporarily. And we are waiting for the head from BNR. But besides those few items, we do have everything else. So we're just gonna button this up as far as we can go. And I'm gonna show you guys, not all of it, but some bits and pieces here and there. Also, we have some updates on our bolt tumbling. So. I recently did these, which came out pretty freaking good, but we also broke the tumbler. So I'll show you guys. Now the bowl sits on here like so, all right? And this guy sheared right off, look at that. So I was gonna try to fix it. This is a Harbor Freight Special. I guess I should have got the warranty, <laughs> I didn't. But uh, if you guys get this at Harbor Freight, this particular one, I think the warranty was like 14 bucks, two years, something like that. So get the warranty. We did get a new one from Amazon. Let you guys check it out. It was, uh, I think this kit was about 70 bucks, but we will get this opened up and I'll show it to you. I'm gonna get it set up, opened up, and I'll give you guys, uh, give you guys a little tour of the new tumbler. We'll see how, how long it lasts, I guess. Hey, we got this one all set up. We got it running and I can say, number one, it's much quieter than the Harbor Freight one, number one. I believe the capacity may be a little larger too. It just seems like the bowl is a little larger, so I like it. I like how they give you the clear cover. You kind of see what's going on in there, it's doing its thing. But uh, this was the last batch we did in the other one. So these are um, 
A arm bolts and upper shock bolts. Look at these things, guys. Look how nice these came out. I mean, that's pretty awesome. I will show you what those looked like previously. So this is before. See that? Before and after. Look at that, guys. It looks brand new. Look at that. Awesome. So we're going to let this thing rock out probably all night. I got a small batch of bolts in there, nuts and bolts. We'll see how they do tomorrow. But uh, let's get going on this engine. All right, guys. We got the engine all wrapped up. Like I said, I wasn't really going to film much of it. Uh, basically, we are just waiting for this side case cover from Herb Willis. That's the old one. Um, and I thought I had a flywheel side gasket, which I don't. I got every gasket but that, so I can't put that one on. We do have that brand new, ready to go, right there. Look at that thing, huh? So, definitely was hoping to get a little more done tonight than I was able to, but whatever. Uh, we'll have the gasket in a couple days. We did two day shipping. And um, the clutch side cover, I gotta talk to my buddy Herb Willis. Maybe we will have that by the end of the week or next week, hopefully soon. Um, he's finishing up some yellow stuff uh, for the new quad, which is over there. Um, and that's pretty much it. BNR has the head, so we're just waiting on that. We may see that at the end of the week or early next week, but the engine's in the quad, so I felt like uh, might as well just throw it in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cover it up so it doesn't get dirty. But uh, I think next step will be to start. Um, we're gonna have to clean the radiator. You guys can see my radiator is super, super dirty. We're gonna disassemble this whole thing, clean out this thing really, really good. You, you, I mean, you can see like right there is blocked up pretty good, but behind the fan always gets blocked up pretty good. So we can clean that and we can install that so maybe we'll do that tomorrow i don't know but um we will we'll, uh we'll check back in either tomorrow or the next day we'll, we'll show you a little more progress we got on this thing but that's going to be it for tonight so we will see you guys maybe tomorrow all right guys it's been a couple days we got in our flywheel side gasket so let's get this cover on the quad so we need that on that so let's get it done all right guys that's going to be a wrap for this little uh you know partial update in the practice squad we did a, a decent amount we got the the flywheel cover on and done we got the glen innovation innovations case saver on we popped the chain on uh, we did a new rotor and new brake pads in the back dp brakes solid stuff um we put the ground wire on we put the starter wire on you can see right here i mean that's pretty much it for now we are waiting on the head we are waiting for the shocks we're waiting for the stabilizer um what else am i waiting for um i think that's it so shocks stabilizer oh throttle body so we're waiting for the throttle body so hopefully uh b and R can get me that pretty soon. I'm hoping maybe another week or two. And then uh, once I get that, we can finish this bad boy. We got the exhaust right there. And then um, I think we will start working on this one. So fingers crossed, guys. The next video you will see will be uh, part one of the new National Quad Build 3.0. All right. So stay tuned for that, guys. As always, thanks for watching uh drop some comments guys and uh give me a thumbs up in this video and we'll see you on the next one all right peace